Hi, I'm Emma. And my name is Nadine. And today we're presenting the DAS. The DAS stands for Depression, Anxiety, Stress Scale. The DAS is a three self-report scale that measures negative emotional states. These states are depression, anxiety, and stress. Each of the three scales has 14 items. There are two versions of the DAS. The longer version, which is a 42 item version, and the shorter one, which is the DAS 21. And that takes half the time to administer because it's half the amount of questions. <laughs> The DAS is intended for the general population and people aged 12 years of age and above with the likelihood of depression, anxiety and stress. The DAS has a second version as well called the DAS 21 which takes half the time to administer. The DAS has been adapted to suit different cultures and has been translated into different languages. For the client's peace of mind, it's best that the DAS is administered somewhere private. It takes 10 to 20 minutes to complete, and the DAS 21 takes half the time, 5 to 10 minutes. The DAS also can be administered by computer, which makes it very portable. The DAS is a self-report instrument, and individuals are not required to have special training or skills to administer it. When the DAS is administered to individuals who have sought professional help or who are displaying high levels of distress, interpretation of the results should be carried out by an appropriately qualified health professional, such as a clinical psychologist. Good morning, Emma. My name is Nadine, and today we're going to be using the DAS. The DAS has 42 questions in total. Please read each statement and circle a number 0, 1, 2 or 3 which indicates how much the statement applies to you over the past week. There are no right or wrong answers. Do not spend too much time on any statement. The rating scales are as follows. Zero, did not apply to me at all. One, applied to me to some degree or some of the time. Two, applied to me to a considerable degree or a good part of the time. Three, applied to me very much or most of the time. Okay, there we go. Um, in the video, we use the full DAS because it gives a somewhat more reliable score and more information about specific symptoms. However, the DAS 21 does have the advantage of taking only half the time to administer. Instructions were read clearly for the client to understand before they started answering the questionnaire and instructions are also printed clearly at the top of the questionnaire in both the full DAS and the DAS 21. Today in our role play, Emma indicated uh, the numbers on the DAS 41 that best represented how she was feeling. Using those numbers we've calculated them and from here we find them on the DAS profile sheet. The calculation for depression was number 25. When you find the number, you place a line through it. Anxiety was 24. Once again, place a line through the number once you find it. And stress was 28. To interpret these results, you go back to your line for depression, the number 25 indicates a negative emotion. The percentile is severe. Anxiety, 24. The percentile here is extremely severe. And stress, 28. Again, this number indicates a severe percentile. A scoring template that's provided with the DAS can be applied to both sides of the full DAS questionnaire sheet as well as the DAS 21 questionnaire. For each of the three scales, depression, anxiety and stress, a letter is allocated. D for depression, A for anxiety, S for stress. The scores for each of these scales are then added and presented on the profile sheet 
as shown in the video. A study found that DAS resulted in high values of internal consistency. The results for the subscales were 0.97 for depression, 0.92 for anxiety and 0.95 for stress. Another study for each of the DAS scales also found that they correlated highly. Test-retest reliability results indicate that all constructs of the DAS are strong, thus indicating there is consistency when the DAS is administered to subjects. Concurrent validity of the DAS has been investigated by comparing it to the Beck Anxiety Inventory, BAI, and Beck Depression Inventory, BDI scales, which are the gold standard. It was demonstrated that the correlations between the two scales are internally consistent and with the anxiety scales correlating highly. Predicted validity has not been explicitly demonstrated. However, some sources found that various constructs can predict the direction of mood disorders, including anxiety. This finding provides evidence for validity of the DAS.